port. Let's get back into it. Ha uh, Finn and his cronies have set up a camp in the sewers, have they? Yes, ma'am, and it seems like they also have sentries posted on the Aldous Street and in Babel Tower. Should have known he'd already be on top of things, so he plans on keeping us from returning to Kenosis. Then he's after our key. They did not care about the Amazons. All the Amazons we are slicing up to pieces. This is just like Flo Joe and Flo 27 Nightmare. Are you going to sack face half and all without bat in an eye? What should we do, Lady Valletta? Oh, don't get your panties in the chest. Thanatos and his guys are already working on, uh, on as we speak. Getting a hold of Revis or whoever. Once that monster shows up, well, Finn can say bye-bye to his little net of his. By the way, you guys about done wiping out the Amazons? We are, our comrades in arms have successfully wounded almost all the targets with our close weapons. Some were able to escape due to Loki familiar intervention. Most of the Litos at least have been sliced. Good enough for me. All that's left is Vane again. What do you mean? When we ran into him th this morning with that Amazonian brat, he was clearly on his side, on his way to the palace. At a time like this, no way that's a coincidence. He was definitely looking for the key. That little minx we killed may very well have given him some kind of clue. We need to take him down. Wouldn't seek, seek help, would he? As if no way in hell that blockhead Mutt would go to his familiar with the, his tail between his leg. If he's got to get revenge, he's going to carry it out himself. I'm the one he, who massacred his cute little friends in Canossus after all. Like him all too easy to read. I can practically see him now marching his way towards us. He's calling us out to play, is he? Is that... It w couldn't be. He's mad now. There's no stopping him now. But... Ah, oh, you've done just awoken and invaded an inhuman beast into you, Anya. And you won't like the outcome of what he is capable of. A scholar once said that there were three reasons why werewolves would howl. To announce someone's territory, to locate fellow companions who'd strayed from the pack, to strengthen the bond with their own kind. However, these reasons were dead one, entirely missing the mark. Howling was an oath. Their thoughts trembled in determination, a promise of absolute will, devouring the sun, moon, and everything to the sky the gods gazed down. The oath Bet had made now was a pledge to hunt. To stay in his claws and fans, a brilliant to wed. Our target is on the roof of the brothel, howling. It's as if he's telling us where he is. Could this be a trap? Unlikely, perhaps he's trying to provoke us. Our mission doesn't change. We kill, that's all. He's moving. Get him. Should be easy to catch a bloodthirsty beast. The fool's squeezing his own neck by howling to lure us out. Just like what we did with that Amazonian brat. I'll stab your tummy with this dagger. 
the how it g- is that my allies? What happened? Are they getting beaten down? Are they getting hunted down instead of hunting down our target? Was he provoking us, knowing where we were, sniffing the stench of the blood coming from us? Yeah. No. How awful me. It was a miscalculation. Our enemy is no foolish beast. Nor is he a dungeon wandering adventure. He's a warrior trained to be a true hunter since his childhood. He's something different from us assassins. A true blooded hunter. Can't suicide attack him. He's crushed my poison stilled jaw. Knives in his my limbs. If you can't even do that, you don't belong on the battlefield. Bet, you don't want to mess with Bet, that's for sure. Especially if you think it's going to be easy. (laughs) Did something happen to Bet, I mean? Why is he always going on calling people fish bait, chumps, weaklings, making fun of people and stuff? Curious to know, too. I completely understand if someone... Doesn't want to talk about the past. I never wanted to know anything about that wolf in the first place. But now I'm curious to know what's making him so mad. Doesn't talk about himself much. Not even I know if something happened in the past. So what I can offer is the only conjecture. He's unbelievable socially in depth. In depth. Indeed, disastrously so. Everything that boy says, he's only trying to motivate people to spoil them on in the only way he knows how. Having to count on others because you can't protect yourselves. As long as your magic is the only useful thing you got. Don't admire the old hags to pass on. Words go far beyond what's necessary. Harsh to the point of antipathy. I, I don't know how to say that. Word. Or perhaps he believes that the only way to push others past the limits is to hurt them. What does that mean? It's got to the point one, once where Finn, Gareth, and I were forced to call him in for a walk. Even if someone spat in your face, humiliated you, or stole something from you when you, you're strong, you've got to pick yourself back up. You lose someone or part of yourself. You make a mistake when you are at a point where you can't forgive yourself the strong change. But the weak will always be weak. No matter what happens, those failures just sit there and yuck it up. They will always be weak. They always live in trash until the day they get torn to pieces. A shakedown of the weak by digging up and forcing them to face the scars of the past. An awakening that would send them upward. They were words of abusive encouragement that would kick the truly weak to the side. But there, there must have been a bit better way of doing that. What does, what he does goes far beyond socially inept. 
not everyone is going to have that strong of a spirit. Indeed, you are right about that, Alicia, but there is more than that behind his actions. He greatly dislikes when those whom he refers to as weaklings take the field, so to speak. He must have had an answer within himself all along. Would you like to know what he said when I criticized him for posting his own value on others? Are you going to say the same thing once they are dead? You'd rather they end up dead than get the feelings hurt, huh? It will be too late once they are ripped to pieces. I mean, he ain't one. Everyone's gonna get the feelings hurt once, at least <laughs> fucking hundreds of times in their life. Well, maybe not hundreds of times, but so. He just didn't want anyone to die. One idiot, as if he can just keep that from happening. We who were killing each other and tell, tell us you were way aware of what people's death meant and how close they were. How the hell does he think he's going to be able to protect everyone, huh? Even people he, he, he doesn't even know. I don't believe that's what he's trying to do. The reason he can't stop his abusive chase is more selfish, I would say, and not just a little bit either. By selfish, whenever the lad sees someone weak by his standards, he catches a glimpse of his own past and his former self. It ticks him off, you might say. You didn't take him as a charitable sort, did you? It says, look, he just said the boy's own lack of social skills makes him all the more contentious. That lad hasn't changed a wee bit since the moment I met him. To stay weak is a sin. Evil almost to sit around laughing and smiling then to weep collapse ball and scream every time they lost something he hated those screams most of all and he refused to accept them the same as he refused to accept the weep accept the weep young wolf from his past even in the group weaklings are still weaklings so shut up with your whimpering and you're moaning and you're crying. Even Bet understood. Not everyone could become a warrior or an adventurer. They couldn't be Ace and the others or oh, that boy. And yet, in spite of all that, Bet couldn't bring himself to abide weakness. Shameful, powerless chumps don't deserve to live. The battlefield recognizes more, but the sh recognizes none but the strong. It seems to me the Bet just can't give them up. That's why he keeps on scoffing at and ridiculing them. Then when they don't change, he gets pissed, starts fates, even though it may, it'd may it be much easier on him to just let it be. Why didn't you tell us this sooner? Then he was doing the same for Lion and others, telling them that even after they, have re they are reborn, whoever, whatever they are, that they he doesn't want them to lose them again.
<laughs> because you wouldn't have understood. No matter how much we may say we get him, none of us ever will. Hell, but himself probably doesn't understand. That lad's philosophy be not but a nuisance to most others, eh? The whole negative over positive reinforcement stick. Having said that, there is one thing for certain. Bet's fan isn't a fan at all. It's a... What? It's a what? Stop leaving us... Leaving me hanging. Ah, oh, fuck off. Pain of the fan... The hold stopped, stop the holding. Someday you'll understand the true meaning behind your fan. Have you figured out what? Oh, have you figured out what that fan of yours means yet, Bell? Bet? <laughs> um, I said Bell. <laughs> Already have long ago. It wasn't even difficult to figure out what it was. What was it? <laughs> My fan is not a fan. My fan is a skull. Oh, well, shit. Well, yeah. A scar beneath the lightning bolt shape but ta tattoo on his cheek was the start of all this when he first learnt about the doggy dog world. The ruin was a proof of his weakness, his fan, his strength as nothing but a disguise. How old as he lost his fam family, f family, childhood fan, and his peers. He promised himself that he'd devour the strong and press even forward. The bet of the past hadn't even noticed that his wound tormented and trained him, and the blood spilled be became his strength. He was a wolf sown from wounds, a powerful being built from the lives of the weak he'd abandoned. Oh. Excuse me. Wow. Couldn't protect anyone his fame knew nothing but pain and suffering. Was capable of nothing but inflicting pain. His strength was nothing but a shame. Still heal you. But, it was, but still he would continue to bear his fan of lies. The wound, wounds beneath it piling ever higher. If it weren't for me, you'd be strong, wouldn't you? Holding himself, holding himself, all because he refused to say, accept the weakness. Protect that jaw of yours. Until someone tears apart that jaw up and down. Bet. 
He could do nothing but inflict pain. He could do nothing but howl. Nothing but push people away. Nothing but grip, grape, but complain and demean. Weakland should all just disappear. Doesn't it annoy you to howl? Why don't you? All he could do was wait for the howl for th- of the week. How much is that now? One, two. Okay, so I got two more left. Do 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 do. The assassin song with Tony and are they all gone? Is even more wild up than I expected. If I don't get my act together, he's gonna have that revenge of his after all. What should we do? Clearly, one straight into his territory was a bad idea. So what do we do? We simply invite him over here, yes. Wants us dead and he wants to be the one to do it. He's really gone off his walker this time, which gives us the advantage. We may ha- not have a lot of coast casters left, but we have got coast weapons and magic swords coming out of our ears, don't we? Just enough to have all our remaining troops be equipped with them. I'm going to send a us out a little invite get the pot get the party ready boys only instead of cake i want to see as many traps as those little heads of yours can devise they have stopped coming they one of the guys there's no way i haven't seen that woman make an appearance yet The trail of blood, did the assassins all retreat, or? Yeah, I don't know what that says. Come to the palace, Vanagard Gain. We are looking forward to wel- welcoming you. Very well. It stopped doing... A red cup of the blood for me to walk down, huh? How flattering. Who would have known a place like this existed underneath this star familiar's home, huh? I knew you'd come, Van the Garden. And you'd come alone, too. How wonderful. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, I suppose. Your kind is a neat. As easy to eat as ever. Damn you. We know each other far too well to need pleasantries at this point. Besides, I wouldn't want any any of your little friends coming along. And all in the way I see it, you wouldn't either. Come on then. Twenty-seven assailants are hiding in the shadows of the pillows. Not that it matters to me, though. Is it a trap? Don't tell me you're scared you wouldn't run away with your tail between your legs now of all times, would you? I'm not, I'm not saying anymore. I'm dying to send you back to hell. Get them, boys. <laughs> Bet said it himself. He ain't saying anymore. You ain't in the torn, made of wild beast.
Yeah, one more, one more. Oh, Kenya. Out of my way. You really want me dead, don't you? I'm scared, Vanagain. Get back here. Oh, I'm scared. He's really going to bait me to death if he catches me. Damn it, this isn't the game. Get out of my way. Don't let me him touch me, you worthless pieces of scum. Stop moving around. Should have known getting too close to you was a bad idea. I'd have you for sure next time. They, may, they keep dodging me. They are getting quicker. You're just slowing down. Not. I'm just the one who's moving slow. Yeah, that's what I said. Took them that name long enough, but now the time has come. That thing must be low in my status. Took you long enough to realize, you great big galoot. Let me introduce you to my own special brand of magic. I call it Sheldo. I suppose you could call it a type of barrier magic. But this magic isn't a barrier at all. It was small. It has an annoying launch chant, and it dissipates in a moment. I step outside of it, not even that useful in the real combat. Either, given how much mine it zaps, it's perfect for a trap, even more so for catching impudent little beasties who can't rein in their own rage. You don't think I know about your nasty old magic sucking boots? Well, now they are useless. Try struggling to in my little nest. Sure, he obviously bet doesn't go down like this, but what happens? How does he counteract this uh, barrier? As you may have guessed already, Sheldo is a status down spell. It zaps the power and speed of any uninvaded guest who steps in inside. And the more they move around, the worse it gets. The more you scuttle around, the tighter the invisible strings of magic get. I'm the spider and you are, you have walked straight into my web. There's no one in the way now. You have been rampaging about so much already. The threads of my web are already all over you. It's time we strangle you to death. Get him, my guys. Just die already. I got him. I got him. The high level member of the Maidy Loki familiar. Once I'm done with you, you are next, Finn. Well, I'll let's. I'll I'll like to see what happens. Does he get saved, or does he go berserked? 
we'll catch you in the next episode.